we work so hard as students to become pilots and towards our ratings that it actually feels kind of nice to have a little bit, a little bit, little tiny bit of compensation in the beginning of your training. Like it makes you want to work towards your next goals even more. It makes you want to bust your butt so that you can get the next ratings even faster, even more. It makes it feel like it's already worth it and the journey has just begun. So on September 8, 2021, I reached out to one of Aviates partner school and I saw something like, yo, if I go to your flight school, can I get into the Aviate program? Obviously I didn't say yo, but you know, something like that. Fast forward to February 28, 2022, I enrolled in one of their partner schools. Then fast forward like another nine months, around November, I wanna say 26, I got my PPL. And November 27, I enrolled into the Avia program. Then fast forward to about February 2023, I got an email saying that I am gonna go do my interview for the Avia Cat for the Avia program, not the Avia Academy. And I went for my interview, flew back to New York. And two months later, around March 14th, I got an email saying I was accepted into the Aviate program. Happiest day of my life. If it wasn't for Aviate, I don't know if I would have signed up for uh, the partner school. I probably would have been just uh, working and not living out my life the way I wanted to live it out. So just want to say a big thank you to everybody in the Aviate community. I chose to do this video when it's starting to rain. So I chose the perfect day to do a vlog style video. And it started pouring outside, of course. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody at United and everybody at the Aviate team. I think you guys are running a great program. Originally, I wanted to go to the Aviate Academy so bad. We saved up for about six months as much as we could um, before we left our jobs. And um, just to give you guys a little bit of history, I was working construction for about uh, 10 and a half years in New York City. And then after that, I got a job with New York City Transit, which is like a city job. I would say it's a job that a lot of people will be very grateful to have. And I was grateful to have that job at the time. So I left that job um, just to pursue aviation. And our plans were to go to sign up for the Aviate Academy. But then a lot of personal stuff started happening and we were unable to leave New York. But I'm so happy that I got in through one of their partner schools. It's a pretty cool program. They set you up with a mentor, so you go. You always have somebody that you can uh, text or uh, email or even uh, give them a call, and you have somebody to talk to. You do get traveling privileges. Also, you're at, at a tier where you're all the way at the bottom, but you do get traveling privileges after six months of being in the program. That's also a good benefit of being an Aviate. So if you guys are interested, if you guys want to follow my journey, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This lady is brilliant. And this machine won a tip. Really? Finally made it to Denver. Slamo. Just arrived. It's the most nervous I've ever been, to be honest. I've been panicking for like the past three days. Let's see what the city looks like. Well, the geese are here. Have to get these fake AirPods. Little shots at a hotel we're staying in, Holiday Inn, not fancy. Check out the zoom on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Boom. And that's the city. Take my fake AirPods with me, and we're gonna go explore downtown. They paid somebody to install it. Ridiculous. How much is it? Thank you. in a uh, barcade so why not go spend the day at the barcade i'm not really big on drinking but i'll have one 
if I'm at all, I'm, if I'm at the barcade, so let's go check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 